What kind of planning techniques are available for married couples? You know, when we have a married couple come into us for planning, it is really sometimes almost amazing how many different techniques we have to be able to help a married couple uh, deal with long-term care expense issues. Uh, Florida is probably one of the most advantageous states in order to do this. Um, you know, for example, um, I already mentioned that the spouse at home can have 117000 But let's say the couple has more than that. We can transfer all of the assets to the spouse at home so as to get our Medicaid spouse down to the levels that are necessary for qualification. And then there's all kinds of techniques we can use to deal with those excess assets, including income conversion strategies, for example, whereby we convert something that was considered as an asset into an income stream. And there is no limit as to how much income the spouse at home can have. Um, right now, there's also a strategy available in Florida called spousal refusal. That has been before the legislature the last few years, and along the lines of what I mentioned in one of the other questions, um, you know, that particular strategy may go away. But the bottom line answer is there are all kinds of strategies available for married folks. With respect to, and, and a lot of times that's why it's really good for us to get in and do the planning in advance. And as I mentioned on one of the other questions, um, we want to see if we can replace that I love you will before the first spouse dies so that we can basically get into a situation where the surviving spouse is automatically qualified for Medicaid anyway. And so that would be some advanced planning to get those types of will set up. With respect to our single clients who are facing the um, going into a nursing home, it, um, the planning is more difficult, but there are still a lot of strategies that we can do. And the main thing that I would like to say to people is uh, the most important thing is to come see a qualified elder law attorney before you start spending money and do not listen to somebody that says you have to spend all your money down to that $2,000 level before you can qualify for benefits.